Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time tuning in, hello, I'm Lois, and today we have a really exciting video. I'm gonna be doing my updated jewelry collection video. This is probably my most highly requested and anticipated video of the year, and I feel like I always mention this when I do this video every year, but for me, the jewelry collection video is much more meaningful than the collection itself. It's really um, a full circle moment for me because a lot of you guys have found me, through my very first video, which was my small jewelry collection video at the time. It was the very first video that I ever posted on YouTube. I remember being so nervous and so many of you guys loved it and also just have found me through a lot of my jewelry content, which I feel so grateful for. And so it just feels like always like a full circle moment for me and I'm so grateful for our community. And so I wanna do a little giveaway at the end of this video. I'm gonna tell you guys how to enter, um, but I want to kind of share with you guys some of my favorite pieces from different brands that I love. So definitely stay tuned till the end of this video. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys my most worn everyday jewelry pieces by category and then I'll move on to my like statement more kind of fun pieces and everything that I'm going to be showing you guys I've just really narrowed down to the pieces that I genuinely love the most and brands that I've been continuously loving over the years as someone who loves jewelry and wears some sort of jewelry every single day I really care about the quality of my jewelry pieces so most of my everyday pieces are going to be 14 karat gold I always say quality over quantity, especially when it comes to jewelry, because if you have a good quality jewelry piece that's real gold, then it's gonna last you forever. You don't have to worry about it tarnishing, especially for like an everyday piece. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start off with showing you guys my rings. So on this right hand, really nothing has changed. It's been the same for like years now. I'm gonna quickly go through them. This is a gold stacker ring from Majeri, and this is a chain ring from a Korean boutique. I've stacked two of the diamond team rings um, from Missouri. These are like half pave. And then the thin Cartier Love ring. The signet ring, which I've also had for like five or six years now, got it at a really cool jewelry store in Chinatown called Popular Jewelry. Definitely worth checking out. And it has my initial. And then on my left hand, this used to be what I called my fun hand. I did a bunch of different stacks changed it up a bunch, but now I like to keep it a little bit more simple because your girl got engaged earlier this year. Um, this is my engagement ring. I have a oval natural diamond on a gold band. Obviously, I love the ring. It's very special to me. Also a little cute story. So my fiance and I, we actually know the day that we met. So not the day he asked me to be his girlfriend, but the actual date of when we met, which I think is kind of special. Um, and so he engraved the day inside and year as well. That's a little extra little touch that I love about it. Sorry in advance because now it's getting super cloudy. It's been so gloomy the past couple days. I was so happy that I was getting some good sunlight, but it looks like it's getting gloomy again. But anyways, moving on to the pointer finger. Today I have this stack. It's two beaded diamond rings from Missouri. This one's white gold and the bottom is yellow gold. And then I've stacked it with my Chanel Coco Crush ring. And this is in the beige gold. A lot of you guys know that I love yellow gold, but for this ring in particular, I really liked how subtle the gold was. And so I went with the rose gold or beige gold. Love stacking it with some of the other diamond pieces. It looks like a statement piece when you wear the three together. And a couple of my other favorite everyday rings. I would say most of my favorite rings I get from Missouri. So these classic kind of eternity bands, these are just great classic um, pieces that will never go out of style. They're great even as wedding bands. This is one way I like to stack these rings. Something that I've recently been also loving so much is this kind of curved half pave ring. I've been stacking the three curve rings together. Very elegant. You can also never go wrong with a dome ring. This is just a classic. I've been wearing this stack a bunch as well. Out of everything from Missouri, I would definitely say their diamond rings are my favorite. These are a couple more. This one is the Charlotte ring. This one's like, I like to call the cool girl ring. And there's this pave dome ring. And this one's really cute as a stacker ring. It's also like a mini version of the pave. I have this 
heart ring and a matching heart necklace. Has like a little mini diamond in the inside. I would say this ring is like my latest piece in my collection. This is the Hermes de Anker ring and I was inspired to get it because I originally saw a thicker version and I thought it was so cool but when I tried it on it actually ended up being a little bit too thick on my finger and so I opted for this one and I love it. I've been really into uh, mixing my metals. So that's pretty much everything for my ring collection. I realized that a lot of my everyday pieces I will make into statement pieces by stacking and layering um, and then my two only like fun rings I would say are these two from Curve. I've stacked it with again this like just eternity diamond ring. Now moving on to earrings, funny because if you asked me before, I would probably say earrings are my least favorite type of jewelry. And now it's like my favorite. And I honestly feel like it's because of Ideal. Like they really changed my ear stack game. Like I am obsessed with all their pieces. They're so unique, dainty, and you'll see. But like I have my whole ear stack that I have on right now. It's pretty much from Ideal. I wear their pieces every single day. They never come off my ears. They have studs as their base. So they have like this bigger stud, which I currently have on right now from their high jewelry collection. And before I used to wear this earring a bunch, which as you can see, the stud is a little bit smaller um, from their fine jewelry. So starting off from my right ear, this is again, one of their bigger studs and then this add-on piece is like this five marquee, which I've been obsessed with. I have this little diamond huggy from Missouri, and I've hooked it on to this chain, diamond chain with this cuff, which is from Ideal. And I've been wearing this chain cuff for about a month and a half, and I'm so surprised at how sturdy it is. It never comes off my ear, and it's super comfortable. And this beautiful little stud, pear stud, is also from Ideal. They came out with a bunch of studs recently. And then as you can see on my first piercing, it's the same big stud with the five marquee. And then the pearl with the diamond is from a brand called Gingy Berry, super cute. Climber is from Ideal as well. So Ideal also has a high jewelry line, which personally I love because it's a little bit bigger and bolder. The studs that I showed you here, it's a 0.75 carat, and this one's their biggest. It's one carat and then the add-on piece also love this simple pear design this is from their high jewelry as well and they have it in the smaller version um show you guys the size difference favorite though will probably have to be this add-on piece it has the emerald cut and then the pear at the end i always appreciate a good chain i have a couple that i want to show you guys but this was the OG one that I always had. I never took it off my ear for a couple of years. Um, this chain with two little diamonds. Similar to this one that has the cuff, this one is just a chain with a bunch of little diamonds and you can kind of hook on. Also, if I had a piercing, I don't have any piercings on top, but would be so pretty like this to hook. Like this chain, this one comes with the diamond cup, the opposite of this one. One of my favorite earrings to wear to weddings is this drop earring. So beautiful. And I love also how versatile it is. So you can wear it like this, but also as a necklace, like a drop necklace, it has this little hoop up here that you can just put a chain in. So we love a versatile piece. And then this one, you guys have seen me wear so many times. This I used to always wear on my first piercing before I changed it out. Um, this like Uma, which is like this pear add-on. This is another one that I like to wear on my first hole. So something like this, so pretty. Of course, hoops are a classic. These are a couple that I have on rotation. This first one, um, I love how chunky this one is. It's like almost a huggy and it's perfect for every day. And then these hoops are from Monica Vinader, slightly bigger, kind of U-shaped. These are great as well. Then this really small diamond huggy, which is like great for your like second and third piercings. Also great to just like stack side by side. I have it on my second piercing here. And then this link 
chain earring isn't a hoop, but I put it in that category. And I love that you can actually take this off and wear it on its own as well. And a couple more of my statement earrings. I love statement earrings from Monica Vinader. These I've been wearing a bunch, um, especially like in the fall season. I love the brown detail twist. These like chunky statement gold wave earrings. You guys know I also love to wear pearls. This pearl big earring, this one's from Curve and also these popcorn earrings. Moving on to bracelets and watches. My everyday bracelet stack has pretty much stayed the same, but I'm gonna quickly run through these. So these first two are love bracelets from Cartier. This first one is the thin version, six diamonds in a size 16. This is the regular love bracelet, also size 16, both in yellow gold. And then these two diamond tennis bracelets. This is the thin version, thicker version, both from Missouri. These two dainty bracelets that I never take off, this heart one. Um, I love all things hearts from Missouri, and so is this little diamond one. This is a friendship bracelet with my college girlfriends. I also still love my Cartier Justin Clou yellow gold bracelet. I just don't have that with me right now, and my Van Cleef Mother of Pearl motif bracelet, but I know some of you guys are gonna ask me, so I still do have them and I love them. Those are kind of my like everyday pieces. And I've been loving this Hermes de Anker bracelet to go with my ring. This is what the bracelet looks like on. I love how chunky it is. And with the ring, very cool and great to like mix with some of the more dainty pieces. These are my favorite bangles. These are from Monica Vinader. They're all different styles. So this is the chunkier version. And then this is the thinner version. And this one is just like a cuff. But I'll wear all three together and I love the look. I love wearing the bangles with this watch because it looks like a jewelry piece as well. And we're gonna get right into um, watches. This is the Cartier Panther watch gold in a size small. And I've always loved Cartier watches. I feel like they're a classic and so timeless. And I love the idea that I can pass them on to my kids in the future. I got this watch in Paris. I got a lot of questions from you guys when I shared about this watch. And this is my very first vintage watch. I always loved having peace of mind and getting it in store. I just did a lot of my own research to make sure they were legitimate. I saw that they were selling on Vestiaire Collective, had a ton of reviews, and I also reached out to them directly. And when I went to Paris, I visited the actual store. The watch came with the original box and papers and they provided me all the authentication and everything was in pristine condition. Like they told me that the watch was like new and when I went to go see it, it was. So I had a really good um, experience. I know a ton of you guys were also interested. So I'm gonna leave their Instagram and their website down below for those of you guys who wanna check it out. And next is my Cartier Tank Louis. This one's still probably my favorite out of everything. I just love how classic and elegant this watch is and i love that you can go to the store and also just like change out the straps um this is the watch that i love to wear for like the fall winter and then my two-tone samariner which i wear a lot this was like my watch for the summer it's my only really big kind of sporty watch that i have and so i really love this watch as well and then i don't think i have shown you guys this watch yet but this is the Cartier Benoit. And this is special because I got this in the south of France at the Cartier store. And honestly, I was super lucky because I was there for a wedding and I just popped into the store. I was looking everywhere to try on this watch. I mean, it was like impossible to even like see the watch and they had just one in stock. I tried both the bangle and the leather watch, but I just, found this to be very just eye-catching. This bangle is so different and I think it's different enough to the Panther. I'm obsessed. Last but not least, necklaces. For my necklace stack, this first one is from Ideal. And then this is the Van Cleef guilloche pendant, which I'm so happy with this necklace. I love how low maintenance it is and it's dark now, but in the sunlight, well, even now it shines so much, but in the sunlight, it's crazy. It's 
so stunning. Um, I work out, shower, I never take it off. I also still love my Van Cleef Mother of Pearl. I wore this one for years. And then a couple of my favorites from my deal. It hasn't changed. You will recognize most of these. Uh, I love this one, the Lena. They also now have this in the bolder version. And then, oh, this one. I wear this so much. The Amelia. And I love also a classic just diamond necklace. And then we have the diamond tennis necklace. This is from Missouri and I got the 15 inch length. I like it hitting a little bit um, closer to my collarbone and I'm not gonna put it on, but I'll show you guys a couple of photos of how I've styled it. And a couple of chains, this choker from Monica Vinader. I've worn so much, love this one. Something new um, at Missouri is this kind of like paper clip type of chunky chain that I was telling you guys that I really like. And I love how you can add a bunch of different charms. So this one has an L and a heart. I wanna make it say Lois. Chains also, these are from Missouri. They have a bunch of different style of chains and lengths. So really great for layering. So this was everything. Now it's dark outside. It's starting to get dark so early. And if you guys have made it this far, thank you guys for watching. And like I mentioned, I wanna do a giveaway because I appreciate you guys all so, so much. Um, all you have to do to enter is follow me on Instagram, comment on this video, and make sure that you guys also leave your Instagram handle so I can reach out when I pick my three winners. And that's it. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.